And then you watch the English dub, the four kids dub. Goodbye, Cosmo. Good good luck, Cosmo, and goodbye, bam. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. There was literally there was literally no emotion in that scene whatsoever <laughs> in the four kids version. <laughs> it was like, oh by the way, yeah, nice. It was nice to, to meet you, you know. <laughs> bye bye, see you later. <laughs> That ending with Cosmo actually annihilated me. <laughs> it actually destroyed me. <laughs> I remembered when I was a kid, like I was watching Sonic X. I was a kid back then. And I was like, ooh, cool, it's Sonic. And then I watched the ending. Like back in the day when I was a kid, I was like, oh, she died? So sad. But here's the thing. I watched the four kids dub when I was a kid. So I'm like... It didn't affect me that much how Cosmo died. And then a few years later, when I became a teen, I was like, you know what? I'm bored. Let's uh, let's take a look at this old cartoon that I used to watch. So I watched Sonic X, and then I I didn't watch the four kids dub. I watched the Japanese dub, and I'm like, holy shit, this is cool. And then I watched season three. I watched the ending, and I'm like. <laughs> It it's like a dagger to the heart. I'm like, what? Oh my god, like the ending, the Japanese ending of Sonic X, Cosmo's death, oh my god. You know, and her impact to the Sonic universe, she came in clutch to it at the end. She came in clutch when she everyone was trying to defeat the Metarex and no one can touch the Metarex. Like they're throwing everything they can shadow sonic they're doing everything they can and then cosmo at the end she came in clutch and then the ending she became a tree and then with tails just it's hard to convey emotions through animation seeing tails's reaction and it's an animated show they were able to turn you know tails's emotion you could feel Tails' emo emotion right through the screen. The tears and everything. The cinematography of the ending. Like, just everything. I I'm talking about the Japanese version, by the way. And it's just... Um, what, what are your thoughts on that on that ending? Like, <laughs> like ev everything yeah. about it. Like, goddamn. Yeah, it hits you like a ton of bricks. Especially the, the, the Japanese version. Like... I, I, it made my heart hurt, like physically, yeah. I could feel it hurting. Uh, I, like, I don't know what they did, but whatever they did, it was so good. Like they, uh, you know, like you said, they conveyed the, the emotions uh, one to one, pretty much. The nothing went, th nothing slips through the cracks. Everything just hits you in the face. And that is one of the issues with Sonic X, by mm -hmm. the way, that just the sheer difference between uh, the the dubbed the dubbed uh, version from Four Kids, they tuned it down so much. I don't know why, but uh, they it kind of muted the emotions a lot. Like just like you said, when you watched the Four Kids, you didn't really feel much. You ju you were just you you just thought, oh, Cosmo died. Okay, well that's sad, but you know we move forward, whatever. Mm. And then the, the Japanese version is like. Oh, wait, that, that's actually tragic. Um, so I feel one reason why, um, you know, Sonic X didn't receive that much, um, I don't know, like recognition. Love. Is because of that, yeah. Because the, the four kids dub just wasn't good enough. You know, it, it, it took something that was perfect and changed it completely and... It, it was something that, that just wasn't necessary, you know, and kind of ruined it. And um, I, I watched the, I watched Sonic X, like, side to side, you know, four kids dub, and then the Japanese dub, there's a complete difference. The OST, like, everything about it, you know, and then there are certain, like, deleted scenes that you can only see at the Japanese version that is not present with the English version, so I have no idea what Four Kids was doing back then. Like, how could you? 
Like, like imagine this. Like, you have a girlfriend, and she's gonna sacrifice herself to save everyone. Tails. He's gonna pull the trigger. He's the one who's gonna pull the trigger. It's either he saves the universe and then kills Cosmo, or spares Cosmo. Her sacrifice would be wasted. And then you, you would think about that, like, and then you watch the English dub, the four kids dub. Goodbye, Cosmo. Good good luck, Cosmo, and goodbye, bam. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. There was literally there was literally no emotion in that scene whatsoever <laughs> in the four kids version. It was like, oh by the way, yeah, nice. It was nice to, to meet you, you know. <laughs> bye bye, see you later. <laughs> What the why? Cosmo, you're about to kill the love of your life. Your girlfriend. It still hits, by the way. The ending still hits. Like when the, the writers of Sonic X did a very, very good job with that one. Yeah, I mean I, I tried to convey what I felt in my video as well. Mm. But I don't really think I did it justice. Like and I actually want to say this for any of, of our viewers that haven't watched the series yet. If you're if you are intending to watch the series, if you want if you're intending to watch Sonic X, please do yourself a favor and watch the Japanese version mm. with subtitles. Don't watch the four kids version. You're gonna regret it. Like trust <laughs> me when I say this. You're gonna regret it. <laughs> the English dub doesn't do it justice. <laughs> I'm 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 saying.